all righty been a while since i've seen you guys out here on this lake and we're currently going to show you guys my favorite chatterbait trailer especially for the fire crawl you can basically use this for any of the chatterbait colors but specifically the fire crawl these big bike baits kamikaze right here 4.25 inch so these work pretty good with the chatterbaits because they don't have a paddle tail but this back little trailer piece really vibrates and uh it gives pretty good complement action to the chatterbait i don't know if you guys know a lot about chatterbait trailers but if you put a like sometimes a swim bait trailer with a boot tail it'll kind of counteract the action and it'll kind of mess it up but these straight tail or these kamikazes the big bite baits they kind of help the trailer go along pretty good so we're out here it just rained a monsoon the lake is muddy and that's my favorite time to fish shallow because these big fish will run up go shallow because most of the times they don't have anywhere to hide but when it's muddy up there so without any further ado we're going to get you guys on the gopro view we're going to get you guys a test of these big bite bait kamikazes my favorite trailer so let's get to using them see if we can get some big fish and let's go Spot. No. That's a spot. No. That's a spot. Dude. Man. Woo! What a huge. spot, man. Man. That is huge for a spot, man. My goodness. Mm. Yeah, that's a chunk, man. I have to weigh him just to see. Yeah. He's pushing three or so, somewhere in there. That's a chunky spot. Two point eight one. So almost a three pounder. That's a good one, man. I couldn't believe. I was like. I was like, man, it's got some funky colors on it. So I saw it as a spot. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll start off with that. <clears throat> Sweet. Three pound spot. Let's go. He hit it. And then I was like, Felt another bump after that. <clears throat> I was like, oh yeah. All right, so here we have the Kamikaze trailer on the back of the fire crawl. And uh, I, hook it, I hook it vertically. You could do it horizontally, but I prefer it vertically. And like I said, the water's pretty muddy. You can really can't see it, but that's my favorite time to use a chatterbait. The vibration really shines and this red kind of sticks out. Red or a chartreuse color in this muddy water. Is usually pretty good to get that reaction bite just enough color where they can see it through that mud and give it a strike mike can get some up this little sluice right here so it might be one or two up in this little sluice right here maybe i'm pretty sure when that creek over here runs high it comes out over there pretty good too Ooh. Oh. i saw that one i saw that one jump after it yes sir i saw it come from about four foot away and get it <laughs> yes sir that is a good one we'll put him in a live well yes sir i hit right on that shallow point and started burning it and waves came 
There we go. Finally landed one of the ones that's been biting us, you know. Oh man, that was a good bite. Man. He slammed it. Maybe I can get him to commit again. Oh, I can still see the bull. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> I thought I was on grass. I keep making that mistake. I don't think I got a close hook in him, so. But I could have spooked him pretty good. Man, that was a good one. I mean, but it's just like it was the other day. Like, you ain't getting many bites. But every fish has been good. Good one. <laughs> Oh, oh man. Mm. man. <laughs> Didn't quite make it to five. 4.38, and that was scary because my camera just almost fell. But terrifying. 4.38, guys. beaver something popped up right there too a fish i don't think that was a fish what i think that beaver done scared a fish up yeah got a bite it's big it's big It ain't monster, but that's what that beaver scared. <laughs> there we go. Jig fish. <coughs> yep. That jig hook was buried in there. That's a good, yeah. good one. Fat. Fat. Mm-hmm. I'm to add you in the live well. Decent jig fish though. Yeah. 3.3 for the jig fish. I'm sure my other one's a lot more I haven't weighed it yet, but yeah. pretty good. That was not technically the target bait we were supposed to be using, but saw a good spot and a good opportunity to catch it. So if you guys saw that beaver splash and then that kind of spooked the bass and I just skipped my jig over there. He basically hit it pretty good. So we're about to go try this other little grass line and uh, last time we had two big bass, probably five plus hit me and dad and we didn't hook them. So hopefully we can get them this time. So let's see you guys over there. Yeah, we've caught some good ones there. There he is. <laughs> he wasn't expecting me to be there when he popped up. See you, Mr. Beeves. Well, we got a big goose egg in the last spot, but all in all, that's still my favorite chatterbait trailer. They have they have them in white, a few other colors, so if you get the white trailer with a white chatterbait, it pairs up pretty good, but there's not another like reddish trailer you can find for a fire crawl as good as that, because you can't really find red swim baits, so the red kamikaze by big bites definitely a must-have and uh yeah so far that's going to be my 2022 
PB so far. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Hopefully we can get on some bigger fish, some more fish. It's coming. These uh, these January and February months, I'm telling you, giant bass are gonna be caught. But until the next time, we'll see you guys later. Peace.